What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing good. Gonna show you a little bit of the views that I took in this weekend. Took in some great views. Hope you guys had a good one yourselves. Make sure you guys get out there and do something. Hang out with your loved ones and and enjoy the weather when it's not so hot. Check out these views right here. Um, everything's looking real nice. And in today's update, I'm going to give you an update on the 150 gallon reef tank. And then we're going to show you how the corals are doing. Uh, some of the SPS. I'm going to get in some good close-ups right there. And of course, I'm going to show you the Zoas. And I just want to show you how my algae turf scrubber is doing. So let's see the tank right now. The 150. This is early in the morning. It's about 9 o'clock and the lights have kicked on. T5s aren't on yet, but I do want to show you some of the corals. I did get some of that digi from Alan's tank. If you guys didn't see that video, it's a 250 gallon cube, three part video series. Make sure you check it out. It's from the daylights. We'll check out the filtration. And then we did the uh, night shot, candy shots. But this coral right here is straight from Ellen's tank. Give me a big chunk of it and uh, it's doing good. Forest fire digi. I did uh, start separating some of my zoas and my pallies. Uh, the reason why is they start to overgrow each other. I'll be fragging up quite a bit of things once I get that frag tank going. And I'm going to make some room and make some adjustments here. But... You can see the corals are doing pretty good. My tank is mostly zoas and pallies. If this is your first time here on the channel, uh, make sure to check those out. I have a great variety of them, and uh, I like to grow them on frag disc, and then from the frag disc, uh, chop them up here and there and put them on plugs. But as you can see, they're doing good. These are the uh, Oompa Loompas, which are one of the pallies that I had been wanting for a long time and as you can see it's doing really good it's growing and the colors on this at night are pretty awesome I know I have a little bit of bubble algae um, it's always been a problem in my tank the way I get it is I manually remove them I do need to go ahead and bump up a cleanup crew get a couple of uh, emerald crabs and put them in the tank so they can go and do some work uh, this I wanted to show you was from Alan's tank as well. Some Darth Mauls. And uh, I haven't really seen them around on the net for a while. And I got me a couple of heads there thanks to my buddy Alan uh, for hooking that up. I will be doing a video on some anemones. Basically the anemone care. And the reason why is because I have too many anemones in my reef tank. I have a total of eight. Anemones, they're awesome. They look really nice, really colorful right here, as you can see. But uh, they reach out and they start stinging over and over and over. And before you know it, I didn't do nothing about it, and my coral is dead. And as you can see, this one, it's fat and healthy, and uh, it's definitely reaching out and touching everything around it. I do want to show you some of my pretty nice zoas here that I have. I have some hornets that have started to grow out really well. These are actually those rainbow hornets starting to take over the uh, frag disc right there. I haven't started to cut them up at all. Uh, maybe I will a little bit later and then introduce them into my frag tank. Uh, probably be sticking a lot of these into the lagoon. It's going to be looking sweet once I get it going. And uh, I do want to show you these agaves right here. They are pretty sweet looking pallies. Just check them out. The colors are pretty awesome. And uh, they're growing really well. I got a couple of heads of them from my buddy Albert. Um, he had bought some a while ago. I, he gave me some and then I lost them and then he hooked it up again. These ones right here are pretty cool. They're purple with a green skirt. I think they're called Space Monsters. Um, but they're like right on the edge of the tank need to separate these things because they're st it's been a while and I just the way I grow them I've had people ask me how do you grow your pallies I have so many I just set them on a little disc and I just leave them alone guys um, and as you can see I do have uh, Aptasia I think one day I'm just gonna get in there manually remove them if they grow back remove them again 
and uh, just go from there. Let's go ahead and take a look on the left side of the tank. I got some new corals there. They're just uh, Monte Porus. I got some uh, red one from uh, Alan's tank at the uh, coral reef, and then he hooked it up with some green Monte Porus, which is from his 250 gallon tank. And uh, I used to have some green Monte Porus all over the, this tank, and I uh, lost it. So big shout out to Alan for hooking it up. My leather right here is huge, really big, but let's get into the SPS so I can show you some of these colors and the uh, polyp extension. Now I want to zoom in into the strawberry shortcake. It has a mixture of the green and also the pink that I like. And as you can see, you can see the uh, polyps swaying around in the tank. For flow, I'm using two of those QP16s and uh, they're doing quite a bit. I might mess around and upgrade my flow a little bit later on, but for right now, these are definitely doing the job. Uh, I got good growth, good color, and a good polyp extension. I haven't really been much of an SPS guy, but as I'm having some success with these SPS, I'm gonna start venturing into um, getting a little bit more and uh, it's pretty rewarding when you can keep them alive and they don't just turn into some white sticks or they just turn bone white. Um, they do have a lot of variety of colors, um, but the problem is right now I have a ton of anemones and uh, I'm going to take them out of my tank. I'll keep a few, but the reason why I want to get rid of them is because they start moving around and they start stinging my other corals. Polys and zoos pretty much don't get affected, but now that I'm getting into the SPS, I don't want my SPS to get uh, ruined by anemones. Let's go ahead and take a cruise over to the right side of the tank, and then we're gonna do a side view, and you can kind of see the uh, depth of the tank, and that's my favorite view. Between the sides and the top downs, it's pretty awesome to be looking at. Um, and as you can see, the green slimer is doing really well. I got a lot of white tips there meaning growth uh, purple stylo is doing great and I got this big coral right here on the top uh, that's just taking up too much space I'm thinking about possibly fragging that but we'll see so that way I can get into a little bit more SPS um, these daisy polyps right here they look really cool but you got to be really careful with them because they kind of get out of control and they will overgrow whatever is in their path. This is the uh, thing of SPS that I was talking to you about that has started off with a little bit of frag and now it is like a full size colony. Great big piece right there. If you're in El Paso you want a frag of that, let me know. Um, we can work something out. Or if you want the whole thing, just let me know. and We can also work something out. But anyways, I wanna know if you guys have placed any coral orders, give me some good ideas of people to order from. There's a few select people that I always return and order corals from, but I'm always looking in, in the market. Now let's give you an update on this Santa Monica Rain 4 um, Algae Turf Scrubber. I turned off all the flow right now, and we're going to see the growth. I did put some egg crate onto the uh, screen. I rubber banded it. Around, I kind of try to seed the uh, algae turf scrubber with the stuff that I scraped off. And I put this egg crate there to see if it'll go ahead and uh, attach itself and get some more growth. I'm trying to fill this screen is what I'm trying to do. At the same time, I am running a protein skimmer. This protein skimmer did skim a little bit more, as you can see. has a lot of bubbles in it and... Uh, I have been getting in the practice of cleaning out my protein skimmer at least once a week, usually on the weekends. And uh, that way I don't just let this stuff sit there and stink up underneath the cabinet. Um, so it has been doing good. I did run a filter sock on it, which I haven't been running a filter sock in quite some time, but it's been doing good. I, in fact, it's time to go ahead and change it and rinse out the sock. Um, but let's take a look at the algae turf scrubber screen. 
the uh, screen itself is filling up pretty good. I think it's getting there. Um, it's attaching. I'm gonna. It's time for me to go ahead and scrape it off and harvest it. I'm gonna try to seed it into another part of the screen with the egg crate and go from there. Uh, if you haven't seen the video on how to install an algae turf scrubber, go ahead and check it out. Uh, they are definitely working and it's a, a great addition to my reef tank in conjunction with my protein skimmer. Thanks for watching you guys. You guys have a good one. Like and subscribe and comment down below on who you order your corals from.